Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. Uh, this is the third video series on overview of this year's uh, 2023 physics three alternative A experiments. I have done two video series on current electricity and optics. What you need to know as a, as a student or as a teacher. I still stand on my disclaimer, this is not the rewired exams. And this is not exactly what you will see on the DB, but an overview of how the exam looks like. Based on what the examiners ask us to provide, these are the possible experiments we are able to predict. I will start with the first experiment. I will start with this one. Based on the items the examiners ask us to provide, the three set of experiments you see on the table here are possible. This is alternative A physics. The examiners may ask you to perform Hooke's law experiments. That is simple harmonic motion. This experiment is also possible. Knife edge, the principle of moments, where you have to keep a mass constant at the right hand side or the left hand side and vary the other masses. I have a complete video series on this. In this video, in this particular type of experiment where you have an unknown mass on the other side, the aim of the experiment is always to find the unknown mass. So if an unknown mass will be placed at any side of the ruler, maybe at the left hand side or at the right hand side, it will be constant throughout the experiment and you have to vary the other masses. And as you are varying the masses, the distance from where the masses are hung to the pivot will also vary. I have an experiment on this particular video, on this particular experiment I am explaining right now. Click in the description box below and you'll see all possible experiments on knife edge or the principle of moment. So what do you expect in this experiment as a student? Number one, you need to master the theory behind the principle of moment. You may also state the principle of moment. You need to master all the calculations on the principle of moment. Parallel coplanar forces, uh, how to state those laws, how to do the calculations, very, very important. The precautions. Examiners may ask you to state precautions. You are making use of meter rule. What will you say? I avoided error due to parallax when taking reading of the meter rule, meaning you were looking at it straight down. I ensure the masses were not touching the table. That's number two. Number three, I ensure the meter rule was, was balanced, was perfectly balanced horizontally before I took my readings. I just gave it three precautions, choose just two. The BI and the BII part of the question is where they ask you to state laws, maybe the principle of movement, and do some crazy, simple calculations. So this particular video is in the description, watch it, and then you have yourself uh, on top of this matter. Before I look at this, I always tell you guys that in all my particular videos that table of values are the things you don't play with. The reason why I am just so casual in this experiment is that I have done all of the experiments, almost all of the experiments. So click the description. Those things I emphasize in every experiment. Rewatch those things. Your table of values carries the highest mark and all of those stuff. How to plot your graph, to know the value of each small box. They are all in the description. So this is one possible experiment that may come on the D-Day based on the stuff we are asked to provide. Next up, based on the 
Some of the examiners ask us to keep in place as teachers, which are highly confidential. This particular experiment is also possible. This is purely Hooke's law. The examiners may ask you to run Hooke's law experiments. So as a teacher, as a student, what do you expect to do before the DD? You need to master the theory of Hooke's law and all the equations in Hooke's law. Unfortunately enough, I have done all possible videos on that topic called Hooke's law. The theory, the calculations, and every possible experiment you may encounter in Hooke's law. And this particular experiment before you here is on this channel. Click in the description and you see everything about the particular video. Ooh. Next up, based on still the stuff the examiners ask us to provide, this experiment is also possible. I, to be honest enough, I want to give credit to a physics mass hub. I saw him make this video and also one of my guys, I have forgotten his name so what I'm trying to say in summary is that this is not my credit I saw this video from these guys and I said wow so what they are trying to do here is that they want to combine uh, what they want to combine principle of movement so what these guys did here is that after looking at the apparatus, they combine principle of moment with Hooke's law to give us this. So here you have what we call parallel coplanar forces. There is a force here. This will be constant, a mass mark maybe P or Q, and you have to vary these masses. And as you have varied these masses, the oscillation will also vary. We're going to use a stopwatch here. And we make, measure it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 20 or 10 oscillations. And as I repeat, this is not exactly what you see on the D day, but maybe it will be something like this. It may be this experiment, or this experiment, or this and this combined to give us this. So we just uh, predict this thing and so that we just get ourselves prepared for the main day of the experiment. So I will drop the, this, uh, the link of this particular video uh, for you guys to watch. Credit to Physics Mass Hub and the, the other guy, I've forgotten his name. I will drop their link in the description of the video you are watching to watch this particular experiment. And then also watch the videos I have done on this and then on this. And then you stand a chance to get an A1 in Physics. In conclusion, in conclusion, I want to make this known to all of you guys. Physics experiments are stuff you don't play with. Your chances of getting an A1 in physics or a B2 or a B3 rely in your perfection in the experiment. You mess up with your experiments you mess up with your physics grades. I say that again. You mess up with your experiment, you mess up with your physics grade. If you do your experiment very, very well, I mean, and you get 50 over 50, the least grade you can get in physics is a C6. I wish you guys success in these forthcoming exams. Stay away from examination malpractice. I hope this video helped both teachers and students. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.